we will discuss about sodium nitroprusside this sodium nitroprusside is a powerful arteriolar and venodilator it's a powerful arteriodilator and venodilator it's a unstable compound which rapidly decomposes on exposure to light it is a unstable compound which rapidly decomposes on exposure to light so the solution should be prepared fresh the solution should be freshly prepared and infusion bottle and the entire drip set should be covered with black paper because it rapidly decomposes on exposure to light because it's an unstable compound and it has very shorter duration of action very shorter duration of action hence it is administered by iv infusion hence it is administered via iv infusion and onset of action is very fast rapid acting and the dose titrated according to the response dose titrated according to the response it is available as a 50 mg vial which is dissolved in 2 to 3 ml of 5% of dextrose and the dose is 0.25 to 1.5 microgram per kg per minute now where it is used this sodium nitroprusside is used for the hypertensive crisis it's a drug of choice for hypertensive crisis and it is also used to improve the cardiac output in the congestive cardiac failure patients it is also used to improve the cardiac output in the congestive cardiac failure patients and it is also used in acute left ventricle failure it is also used in acute left ventricle failure along with dobutamine for the inotropic effect to increase the force of contraction in the left ventricle failure now by which mechanism the sodium nitroprusside act it generate the nitric oxide sodium nitroprusside it produces nitric oxide no which relaxes vascular smooth muscle which relaxes vascular smooth muscle that means it's a vasodilator sodium nitroprusside by releasing or generating nitric oxide it relaxes vascular smooth muscle that means it's a vasodilator vasodilator means it's a venodilator and as well as arteriolodilator venodilator means there is a venodilatation occurs so there is a pulling of blood in the capacitance vessel that's why there is a decreased venous return so end diastolic volume is decrease so preload is decrease because of that cardiac output is decrease so systolic blood pressure is also decrease or blood pressure is decreased what happens venodilatation or venodilate venodilator or venodilatation that means there is a pulling of blood in the capacitance vessel or in the veins and because of that the venous return to the heart is decrease that's why preload is decrease that means end diastolic volume is decrease and that's why decrease in the cardiac output and hence there is a fall in blood pressure or decrease in the blood pressure now arteriolodilator because of arteriolodilatation there is decrease in the peripheral vascular resistance and that's why there is a decrease in the afterload and hence blood pressure is also decrease so in the both the cases there is fall in blood pressure occurs now we'll see the adverse drug reactions it will going to cause severe hypotension it will going to cause severe hypotension or and because of that in reaction to that there is a occurrence of reflex tachycardia and palpitation because body tries to compensate that severe hypotension or you can also say postural hypotension hence close bp monitoring is needed and there is a anorexia loss of appetite nausea vomiting fatigue disorientation toxic psychosis which may lead to lactic acidosis and it is all because of prolonged administration and there is a accumulation of cyanide because of prolonged administration and accumulation of cyanide anorexia nausea vomiting fatigue disorientation toxic psychosis which may lead to lactic acidosis so this is all the prolonged side effects but the most important side effect is the severe hypotension and which may lead to reflex tachycardia and palpitation hence close bp monitoring is required so this is all about sodium nitroprusside in hypertensive crisis